What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. I done something stupid the other day, I done a big ride out of Whitby, um, through Helmsley and everything else, and got some really good footage, or what I thought. When I got back home it only started recording, didn't it, just before I got Whitby, so I missed out pretty much half the ride, or at least the first half the ride, so... Uh, yeah, not the best. But, uh, life's good. Out on the bike. Oh, I've got a new exhaust coming for the bike, so that's pretty cool. I've got a tab performance slash cut exhaust. So if uh, anyone's got one of them, let me know your thoughts. I've had a look on YouTube, obviously, and they're nice. They sound real nice. So I've got it in the stainless chrome as well to match the bike. Got them for a bit of a bargain too, so high level lane space and that like, well done, uh, but yeah, that, they should be coming next week, so I'll get a video, get a video of me fitting them, obviously do it before and after, I've got the Screaming Eagles on at the minute, so this camera doesn't really pick them up, that's probably because the mic's in my helmet and yeah, it just sound a bit tinny in person, they sound a lot better, so I'll try and get a good drive, a couple of like drive-by videos and stuff, so you can get a good comparison of them in case you want to switch yourself, but yeah, well that's pretty much it for the most part, the house is still going through, still haven't signed on a dotted line yet with the solicitors, so fingers crossed that starts moving quickly, because I want to do a, a before and after of my garage, my garage at my current house, and my garage I mean, new house, and then obviously a bit of a build series if I can. Which I'm pretty, I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to that to be honest. It's uh, be really exciting. My my eBay watch list is just grown by the day of stuff I'm gonna get for it. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna stop this video here, and I'm gonna chuck in the other half of the whippy video from the other day that I recorded. Yeah, here it goes. Scenery around here is ridiculous. Stopped off at Helmsley, guys. Had a quick toilet break. Now we're heading back over the mowers towards Whitby. I think at this point we're about 30 minutes away, half an hour. So I'll use the time machine of YouTube and I'll see you in Whitby. One eternity later. Hey guys, not in Whitby yet, but I just wanted you to see this road. How good would this road be if this shit tank wasn't in front of us? Oh my god, look at the scenery. Big crater over there. It's like where they found Thor's hammer. One hour later. Still not with you guys. Let's go another view. I see, see? Look at that. That's where we're going, over to the right, Whippy. You can just see the Abbey on the top. Probably won't be able to see it at home, it'll be minuscule, but... I wonder how high up we are now. So anyway guys, I'm about from here to there. That's how long it's going to take me to get there. <laughs> so, not long. It's been a really nice, nice ride out, cruise out, it's been cool. Had plenty of fun on the way. We're off to a pub now called the Whistle Stop. It's a bike night tonight. Thursday, so anyone in the area, six o'clock onwards, I believe. So we'll go down, see what's up, see you when we get there. Two thousand years later. Welcome back guys. We're now in Whitby. The home of Dracula. I don't know if anyone knew this, but uh, the tale, Dracula, the story, you know, Bram Stoker, he actually wrote it here. He stayed in a hotel, you know, many hundreds of years ago, I believe, don't quote me on that. Uh, I am not an encyclopedia. Uh, but yeah, apparently his inspiration for Dracula was he was staying in Whitby. And it's quite a gothic town anyway, full of history and like, old looking buildings. And what happened was, on this particular stay, there was lots of uh, 
fog and sea threat coming in making it look extra eerie uh, and that was the setting for, for Dracula especially with the Abbey so Scar uh, sorry Whitby again is known for its uh, Abbey the Whitby Abbey Let's see if I can get a peep for you it's located at the top of 199 steps it's just through there but it's just ruins now uh, and again that looks like super creepy on the night and I, I believe now on the night it's lit up and stuff you can actually go in and tour so I'll try and make a vlog for you but uh, yeah this is Whitby again known for its history to it's seaside town fishing it's got, it's got everything it's a nice place as well Whitby it's, it's, it's a pretty cool place so there's the abbey at the top can you see even on turn right, that's it right up there, so you can see how spooky it must have been. See you later, bud. Ta-da, mate. That's a wrap guys. Heading home now guys, gonna uh, pick up the course road, come all the way through Whitby where we are now, down past Saltburn, a wreck of the lot, but I'm gonna do the most touristy thing you can think of. At the top of that bank that we've just been to there overlooking the water, there's a, a set of actual whale bones. Well I wanna I wanna take the bike and stick it in front of it and get a picture. A few moments later. It's been getting our picture taken and that's the Abbey out the back. Right in the distance there, that's the Abbey. As always guys, make sure to uh, follow me on Instagram at the Scott Rod. Ah, uh, should be alright, we've got half a tank. Yeah, 
Yeah, if it's not me wanting a toilet because I've got the bladder of a three-year-old, or not even a three, like a newborn. Wow, that sun. It's, have you got fuel? It's the only drawback about the V-Rod. The, the 100 to 120 mile tank that I've got, but you know what? Never mind, you deal with it. Like I said in my review video, the V-Rod, after, after like 100 to 120 mile of riding straight, you're ready to get off and stretch your legs anyhow, so it's only a pain in the ass when you're going from place to place, like now where you think, oh God, you know, is it, is it practicable to try and stretch it out? And Because what if you go somewhere, that's like 10, 20 miles away, and then you got you you know you got 30, 40 in the in the tank, and then someone decides to go somewhere else, or you you fancy a rip out elsewhere, and there's not a fuel station. You know, it's can be a bit annoying. Yeah, I didn't fancy going over the Moor roads, especially with the sun this this low. It's just not worth it. You can't see, you can barely see the oncoming traffic. It's really naughty, you just see the silhouettes and the, the DRLs of the headlights, so I thought, ah, you know what, let's go the scenic route, takes a bit longer, but so what? You don't get many nights like this. Let's just take it easy and just cruise on by. No, I thought we'll just take it easy, cruise on by, roll through Saltburn, roll through Regga, and then hit up the main motorway and home spot on ideal and I'm, I'm getting about ready for some grub now so hopefully the wife's been shopping and she's got some stuff in she said she was gonna she's a good old bird I mean, look at that just you know not a ripple in the sea awesome it's a good day to be on a bike Gotta be probably my favourite rides going through the going through the seaside towns and villages. I love the coast road rides. There's one I'm gonna do where <coughs> hopefully next weekend. Or is it this weekend? Oh it might be this weekend, you know. It's a uh, coast to coast for the army for veterans. Uh yeah, I think it's this weekend. That'll be cool. What's this car, car doing? He's like, is he like brake checking on for something? Move! Oh wow, you've got three foot on this side and you get over, oh my goodness. <laughs> People. Schmuck! So what do people think of the uh, the new Harley Davidson range? Now they've had time to digest the information. I've been watching a couple of videos on uh, people who've ripped the trailer. You know the promo video from Harley. I featured it in one of my last videos. Um, they've actually ripped it apart. Some of the other motor vloggers online, like your blogheads and people like that. And. Uh, what they've discovered is there's going to be an FXDR which hasn't been listed. Wow. Can't see a thing. Uh, an FXDR which hasn't been listed as one of the newer models, but the name has been registered. So obviously there's going to be one. From the pictures, you can see it on the trailer, it sort of like goes round the bend and, and off, and it's got like the fat rear, like the V rod. and. It's like almost like plastic on the back, you know, the, the fender looks plasticky, sort of like a standard muscle, <coughs> um, but obviously different. The same but different, does that make sense? Uh, and then obviously the, there's a tank shot of it where it's like that, the clocks, and 
it's got FXDR on the bottom of the, the either the handlebars or the clocks or something. And that's pretty cool. So you know when people have fro freeze freeze frame, does it freeze frame or froze the frames? So when people have froze the frames on the trailer, they've zoomed in, they can see that save FXDR. So it's definitely a new model. Uh, and someone said that it's gonna be a, a 90, I think that might have been blocked because I've commented on his video about it. it's gonna be like a 90 odd horsepower motor. So it's quite low on horsepower in comparison to a to a V-Rod. Uh, and, and other muscle bikes of the market, uh, you know, like your, your bullies, your Diavels and things like that, they're all upwards of 100, so like that's, that's not the best, but you don't know, we don't know. You know, we obviously going off the current trend of Harley and its new bikes, presuming it's going to be liquid cooled, presuming it's going to, be, you know, rev quite high like the V rod. Um, so who knows? But it's got me interested. You know, did Harley want us to look at that? Did Harley want us to see that in the trailer, or you know, is it like a bit of an Easter egg from them? What's what's the deal, Harley? Come on, more information. I'm not a fan of this Pan Am, I, I, I'm sort of switching off. I watched a video of uh, Shea Tree Surgeon, I love his guy, I love this guy, Josh is the man. So if you haven't, you know, make sure to subscribe to him on YouTube, follow him on Instagram. You know, he's a, he's, he's a pretty raw dude uh, and uh, his videos are class. He's picked it apart and I kind of agree with him. Why would Harley branch out when you've got Yamis, you've got uh, Honda, You've got all these people, Suzuki, doing these sorts of bikes. You've got your KTMs. Dangerous territory, dangerous territory. But he, he brought up a really valid and good point, whereby if Harley wants to retain people and bring new, new custom to, to Harley Davidson, you need to start them young. You need to get on the bikes at a young age. You need to get people on little pit bikes, dirt bikes, whatever. So I think Harley doing that's not a stupid move, bringing out the Pan America. Uh, but to compete with the likes of Suzuki, I don't know. I don't know. It looks extremely heavy. It looks extremely expensive. But it looks cool nonetheless. You know? So again, it's another suck it and see. We'll have to find out. But uh, I'm probably going to end the video here, guys, because I've been going on a while now and... <coughs> shit myself <laughs> Woo, that, that made me uh, that made me uh, shit my pants as, Del, as Deadpool would say I should have wore the brown pants <laughs> So without being rudely interrupted, I'm going to end the video here, guys. So make sure to subscribe to me on uh, YouTube at The Scott Rod. I've got my own link now, so it's www.youtube.com forward slash The Scott Rod if you want to share it. That's awesome. Follow me on Instagram at The Scott Rod. And Facebook at The Scott Rod. And until next time, guys, ride safe. And I'll catch you later. Peace.